So my police dog's name is Moxie, and she's about two and a half years old now. She is a super social dog. She may not have the best of manners. Good girl, good girl, yeah, a good search. A bit of a handful, obviously. She won't let me close the door until she puts her paws up on my shoulders and sticks her face directly in my face. Stay. I take my work home with me. I have no choice. Uh, you definitely attach. Ooh, nice job, nice job. I mean, there's nothing comparable to having basically my best friend hanging out in the truck with me all day long. So my name is Stefan Moxness, and I'm a dog handler with the RCMP. We are on the road all the time. My shifts are at least 10 hours long in a truck with her right beside me. I mean, quite literally, I spend more time with her than I do with my own spouse. <laughs> Down here in the Lower Mainland, we are an integrated dog service. And Surrey is a big city that needs the support that these dogs provide. There's nothing else in law enforcement that does what these animals can do. I got Moxie when she was seven months old. The RCMP uses exclusively German Shepherds. You show up at kennels, which is, you know, dog depot, if you will. We breed our own dogs, we raise puppies. We will stay with those dogs through their service life, and you'll stay with that dog when they retire as well. It's a long-term investment, and as it should be, we expect them to work hard, so we need to take good care of them. The bread and butter of the dog section is ultimately our ability to track, either for criminal investigation, so somebody breaks into a house and flees. We also can use it for missing kids, missing hikers, sometimes, you know, Alzheimer patients, the elderly. Those days when you get an opportunity to maybe save somebody's life, those are really rewarding. And that also translates into our ability to find certain types of evidence. So discarded items, whether it's clothes, tools, weapons that smell like fresh human odor, the dogs have the ability to search. Ah, interesting. My dog is trained in narcotics detection. Other dogs are trained for bomb detection. We do also, of course, have criminal apprehension, which is when the dog actually physically engages a person and bites them. Good job. Good dog, buddy. Good job. At the end of the day, like they're very smart, they're very capable, but they are still a dog. And so it's not like taking a robot and asking a robot to do something, and it always does it exactly how I want it. The dogs have moods, just like anybody else. They have days where they're not 100%, just like we do. When you watch, especially like a really good dog track, it honestly looks like magic. They're following this invisible, source of evidence that only they can perceive. You build a very unique relationship and a very tight bond. I don't have a boring day, honestly. I've always got a companion with me. I've always got a friend. It's a fascinating experience. We did good.